Hi, I'm Laurie and welcome to your TRX upper body workout. What you're going to need today is your TRX strap, of course, but we're also going to be using dumbbells too. So I highly recommend having a heavier set and a lighter set just in case we have to switch it out. So we're going to target the entire upper body. Here's what's going down. We have a drop set upper body day. So we're going to start with our dumbbells immediately once we finish that rep count of 10 with the dumbbells. We're taking it to the TRX strap and repping out 15 more. So we're making it into a dumbbell TRX upper body drop set day. We have five blocks today. So each block will repeat the super set three times before moving on to a new muscle group. I highly recommend doing about a five minute warm up before we get into it. Light, low impact cardio is my recommendation. Do whatever you want. Grab all your stuff and let's get going. Our first block is going to target the back. So what we have coming your way, grab one heavy dumbbell. We'll take it to a split stance. Take that elbow high and wide, squeeze the upper back three, two, one on the way down. Now we have 10 on each side. Do your weaker side first. Then we'll immediately take it to the TRX strap for 15 low rows. So go ahead. We're going to start. Grab your dumbbell, one heavy dumbbell, left foot forward. Right foot back, square off the hip, slight hinge forward. You can brace yourself against a wall or something sturdy like a chair. Here we go, high row, 10 each side, let's go. One count up, one count squeeze, three, two, one as we lower. So the slower we go on this eccentric phase, the more challenging it becomes. No swaying of the hips. Inhale, exhale, lower. Five more, last five. Four, three, two, one. Great job. Step the right foot forward. Grab the dumbbell in the left hand. Step the left foot back. Square off the hips. We hinge forward in this split dance. We have 10 on the left. Let's go. 10. Big squeeze. Nine, eight. Slow and controlled on the way down. Last seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we immediately take it to the TRX strap. We're taking it to the TRX strap. Every exercise at the TRX strap will be mid-length today. You challenge yourself more with a more aggressive angle. So the closer we walk it in, the more challenging it becomes. The less, the less we walk it in, the less challenging it becomes. Deep belly button draws up and in. Square off the hips. The hips do not move, no sinking from here. Pull yourself towards the anchor point. This time, elbows stay in tight to the body. Control on the way down. We have 15 total at your own pace. Let's go. Here we go, last 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. If that was too easy, we need to walk it in the next round. Grab one dumbbell. We go again. That was one round. We have two more. Let's get right to it. Right foot steps back. Right hand has dumbbell. Hinge forward. High rows for 10. One count up, three counts down. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up, switch sides. Left side has that dumbbell. Step it back, hinge forward, we go. 10, nine, eight, squeeze that upper back. Seven, six, elbow flares out. Last five, four, three, two, one. Set that dumbbell down. We go 15 high rows. Let's walk it in a little closer this round. We're nice and warm and ready. All right, hands face together, neutral grip. Belly button draws up and in. Here we go, 15 rows. Keep tension on the strap the entire time. Control it. Looking at the anchor point. Come on, 10 more. Last 10, nine, 
eight, body is one unit, seven, six, five, four, squeeze that back, three, two, one. Great job. All right, we're doing that one final round, then we move on. So go ahead, grab one dumbbell in the right hand. Right foot steps back, square off the hips. Here we go, I'll give you a different angle this time. Let's go. You have to brace the core to stabilize the hips. It's all in that upper back, five more. Last five, four, three, two, one. Step it forward, other side. Slight hinge forward, we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, looking straight ahead, four, three, two, one. Final round on this T-Rex strap. Can we make it the most aggressive angle yet? So let's go for it. Neutral grip, inhale, draw that deep belly button in, exhale, walk it on in. Chest is lifted, slight pinch of the shoulder blades, no hinging from those hips. Let's go, 15. Squeezing that upper back, elbows in tight. 10 more. You can always step it farther away from the anchor point as an option. Here's our last. Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing job. All right, next up, we're hitting the biceps. So grab your heavy dumbbells. We'll have one in each hand. Supinated grip. We squeeze the biceps at the top. Three, two, one, as we lower. Then we'll take it to the tier X strap. And we have 15 bicep curls. Hinging from the elbows, you're pulling yourself up. It's not here. That's a supinated row. You should always be able to see those hands. Now, your option, you can use that foot as a kickstand with every exercise. You can use your foot as a kickstand, but if we can, we're just gonna walk it back. So, grab your dumbbells. I'm grabbing 15s, biceps. One count up, one count squeeze. Three, two, one on the way down, let's go. If you have to use the hips, you're going too heavy. It's on the upper body. Hips stay out of it, one count up. Three, two, one, on the way down. Five more. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Three, two, one. Sit those dumbbells down. All right, bicep curls. A less aggressive angle this round because your biceps are a little smaller than your back. That's very common. All right. Keep that plank position. None of that. It's nice and tight. Arms are out in front of you. Hinge at the elbows. Pull yourself in, but you're not bringing it in. Squeeze the biceps. Control it on the way down. That was 115 total. Core is tight. Control it as we extend long. Shoulders down and away from the ears. Don't hunch up. Eight more, here's our last. Eight, seven, six, last five, you got it. Four, three, two, and last one, great job. We're going right into it. Grab those dumbbells. If you need to adjust it, adjust it. We have 10 total, it's slow and controlled. 10, let's go. One count up, three, two, one on the way down. Squeeze, three, two, one, elbows in tight. They're feeling pretty heavy right now. We're gonna keep going. Five more, here's our last. Five, four, three, two, last one. Awesome job. Go ahead, grab that to your X strap. We have 15 bicep curls. Here's your drop set. Adjust your angle accordingly. Perfect, perfect form. 
Slight pinch of the shoulder blades, core is tight. No hinging from those hips, 15. You should be able to see your hands even right here in your peripheral vision. Keep this tempo, last 10. Nine, elbows up. Eight, seven, six. Here's our last five. Four, three, two, and one. Wow, all right, we have that one more time. Shake it out. All right, final round with the biceps, then we move on to something new. Go ahead and grab them, supinated grip. One count up, one count squeeze, three, two, one. On the way down, let's go. So try to keep your elbows anchored to the outside of the body. Try not to do this. No swinging forward, nice and controlled. I see that one a lot. Inhale up, exhale on the way down. We have five more. It's, it's, I'm feeling it, what about you? At the end of this, if you could add five additional reps, you gotta go heavier next time. We wanna challenge your muscles. We want to get stronger. Here's our last two. And last one, three, two, one. All right, final round, TRX bicep curls. Adjust your angle accordingly. If you need to walk it back or turn that foot into a kickstand, by all means do it. Perfect form, quality over everything else. Here we go, 15, hands out, supinated grip. Squeeze those biceps, control. Your body is as stiff as a surfboard, no break-in. You're always working the plank. You're working the, you're working the plank. You're always working the core today with every TRX exercise we have today. Shoulders down. Eight more, last eight, seven, six, five more. Here's our last four, three, two, and last one. Great job, release those TRX straps. Next block, it's all about the shoulders. So we have 10 shoulder presses with the dumbbells. Palms are facing me, mine are facing you. 10 just like so, don't bang those dumbbells at the top. Then we're coming to the TRX strap. I'm gonna show you this before we do it. So we are not maintaining a plank, but we're still working your core. So slight bend the knees. We're facing away from the anchor point. From here, bring the arms up. We bring it down, field goal position, pull the lat muscles down, and then control it on the way up. So it's down, squeeze the lats. Control it on the way up. This is gonna work the rear delts, back of the shoulders, lats, and a little bit of the front of the uh, delts as well. So, 10, 15, let's get right to it. Here's our block dedicated to the shoulders. We go for 10. It's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, last four, Three, two, and one. Set those dumbbells down. We're facing away from the anchor point. A little hinge in the knee, leaning into it. Leaning into it. Now bring the hands up like we're taking it to a roll out, but we extend the arms to that field goal position. Lat muscles go down, then we go up. Pressing it up and in. No tilting that pelvis back. Neutral spine, let's go, 15. Down and up. Pull the lats, press it up. Pull the lats, press it up. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. That really hit the back of the shoulders. Rear delts, all right. Now we're going to the entire delt again. Grab those dumbbells, we go. This time, let's slow it down. Three counts on the way down. All right, let's go, 10 total. 
One count up. Three, two, one on the way down. One count up. Three, two, one. Eight more, just like this. Don't bang those dumbbells at the top. Straight up. Feel the lat muscles work on the way down. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Last two. Last one. Three, two, one. Great job. All right. We're leaning into it. So we're facing away from that anchor point. Grab your handles. Ooh. All right. So first, we're walking it back in. We're hinging from the knees and the hips. Now we take it to that rollout. From here, we bring the elbows behind the rib cage slightly. Then we press it up. We're looking straight ahead, 15 total. If you're not leaning into it enough, you will not feel it. It is burning. Come on, seven more. Six, press, five, last four, three, two, one, and release. Great work. All right, final round. One count up, three counts down, then we're done with the shoulders. Final, final one, then it's on to something new. 10 total, slow down the eccentric face. Let's go. Three, two, one, good. One count up, three, two, one. Eight more, last eight. Seven, six, you got it. Five more, slow and steady. Four, three, two, last one, three, two, one, on the way down. All right, let's get it. Shoulder press, we're feeling it in the lats, back the shoulders, a little bit of the anterior delt as well. Get into position, we're hinging from the knees and the hips, leaning into it. You can go ahead, take it to that push-up, into the push-up, now we're rotating the grip, pronated grip, and we're just pressing it up, pulling the lat muscles down. You gotta put your weight into it to make it challenging. We got 15, then we're done. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, we have 10 more. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five more. Last four, three, two, and one. Amazing work. All right. We're done with the shoulders. Next up, we are on to the triceps. So triceps, we're grabbing one heavy dumbbell, doing it with tempo, 10. Then we take it to the TRX strap facing away, bringing the handle to the head, pressing it back out. Now, once we get to the TRX strap, make sure you don't overextend too far or honor your range of motion. What I see all the time is people taking it back here and that is not good. I dart towards them and I tell them, whoa, we may <laughs> protect your shoulders. Okay, so let's get to work. Enough of me talking. Triceps, three rounds. We have 10 total right here. It's 10, press. Three, two, one, press. Three, two, one, press. Three, two, one, elbows in tight. Three, two, one, Press, last five, four, three, two, last one. Set that dumbbell down. All right, we're facing away from that anchor point. Strong, strong plank, no hinging from the hips. Less aggressive angle, the triceps are a smaller muscle group. So from here, you can see your handles are right at eye level. From here, we bring it in, the whole body comes with you, almost like you're tapping the head, maybe it's slightly above, but right here, and then we press it strong. We have 15 total, let's go. Adjust your angle, 
as needed. What we don't want is that. If that happens, feel free to bring it to that kickstand. This is just as challenging. I mean, walking it back towards the anchor point is way more challenging, but this is still challenging. It targets the same muscle groups is what I'm trying to say. Elbows in tight. Last five, four, three, two, exhale, last one. Great job. All right, grab your dumbbell. Two more. One down, two to go. Let's go ahead. We have 10. It's 10. Press. Nine, press, eight, elbows in tight. Big stretch of those triceps. Last five, four, three, two, and last one. All right, set that dumbbell down. When we go back to the TRX strap. We have 15, a little drop set. Action for us. We can always adjust the intensity by walking it farther away from the anchor point. We have 15. Make them perfect. Let's go. Core is tight. Maintaining that strong plank. Looking straight ahead. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. All right, we have that one final time. Then we're done with the triceps. It's on to something new. Grab that dumbbell. Three count down. Let's go, 10 total. Here's our last six. Press, five, press, Last four, three, two, and last one. Set that dumbbell down. We're going to the door for your TRX strap. <laughs> Mine's in a door attachment. So adjust your angle accordingly. This is it, final round, targeting the triceps. Let's do what we can. Perfect form. No breaking from those hips, 15 total. Slow and controlled. The whole weight of the body's coming with you. Here's our last 10. It's 10, nine, eight, seven, six. You got it, come on, last five. Five, exhale to press, four, three, two, Last one, amazing job. All right, so for your chest press, we are taking it to the ground. So we're gonna be lying down, standing back up for our TRX chest press. So we're grabbing those heavy weights, we're slowing that three count down to a five count because our chest is a pretty strong muscle group. So we're lying down, move my mic, grabbing those dumbbells, all right. So from here, elbows slightly in front of the shoulders. One count up, five, four, three, two, one on the way down. We have 10 total, let's go. Four, slow it down. We can make this feel challenging with the tempo. Here's our last five. Four. Three, two, and last one. Three, two, one. Set those dumbbells down. Here's your extra challenge. Let's try to get up without using our hands. You can always use the hands if needed. Face away from your anchor point. We're going for TRX chest presses. You control the intensity with your angle. Inhale, spine long, fill up the rib cage. Exhale. Draw that D-belly button up and in towards the spine, activate the TBA. From here, we take it down, elbows slightly behind the shoulders, and then we press it up. We have 15, let's go. The whole body is coming with you. If you need to walk it farther away from the anchor point, you can even use that foot as a kickstand if needed. We're targeting the chest and the front of the delts. Here's our last 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, exhale, press it up, five, four, three, last two, last one, great job. Set those straps down, we're taking it back to the mat. Chest presses, five count eccentric face. Let's get right into it. One count up, five, four, three, two, one. Again, one count up, slow and steady on the way down. The slower we go with this eccentric face, the more challenging it is, the more we are strengthening our muscles oh, and challenging ourselves. All right, we have five more. If at the end of this rep count, you could do like five more reps, we need to go heavier next time. If it's available, sometimes it's not. Here's our last two. Five, four, three, two, one. Final one. Five, four, three, two, one. Set those dumbbells down. Let's see if we can get up without using our hands. Ooh, challenging, okay. Chest press, we have 15. Do not pinch from those hips. If you do, walk it farther away. Inhale, exhale. Draw it up and in, core's engaged. We have 15 total, let's go. We engage and then we move. Here's our last. 10, nine, eight, seven, you got it, six, five, four, three, two, last one great job set those handles down final round chest press we have 10 let's get to work one count up five counts down five four three two one one count up five four three two one one count up five four three two one drive it up five four three two one drive it up five four three, two, halfway through. You know what to do now. Last four. Three. Two. And last one. Faster doesn't always mean better. Great job. Try not to use your hands on the way up. That's an extra challenge. Don't worry, we'll have some more rounds at that. Whew. All right, grab your handle. Don't do what I just did. Inhale, spine long, fill up that rib cage. Exhale, draw it up and in. TVA is engaged. TVA, transverse abdominals, that's your innermost, deepest core layer. Get it engaged before we go. 15 total, final round. If you need to, you can start with an aggressive angle, and then if you lose your form, you can always walk it farther away from the anchor point. That's always an option. Come on, 10 more. Last 10, nine, we're keeping this tempo. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, final one. Awesome work. All right, final block of the day. I know I said five at the beginning. I really meant six. My bad. We're hitting the lat muscle. So one heavy weight or two lighter weights, it is up to you. So I'm gonna just grab one heavy and I'm gonna grab the bottom. I'm grabbing the bottom of my dumbbell so I can increase my range of motion. So we bring it all the way down, equally distribute the weight in both hands from here. Slight bend in the elbows, but I'm reaching my armpits behind. I'm not working the triceps. I am feeling it along the lat muscles right here is where I'm targeting. And then I pull it back up. Normal tempo, we have 10, let's go. 10, nine, reach it behind. Eight, seven, exhale to pull it up. Six, five, four more, three, two, final one. Set that dumbbell down. We have three rounds total. Let's see if we can get up without using our hands. Great work. If not, don't worry about it. That's just an extra little challenge. Okay. We're going for TRX rollouts now. Now we're gonna hold a one count pause at the end. Strong, strong plank again. This time, slight bend in the elbows, same thing. We're rolling it out, targeting the lats, working the core, and then pulling it back in. Two things, none of this, 
definitely none of that. If that happens, your core is not engaged, we need to walk it farther away, you can always use the foot as a kickstand. All right, get into position. Inhale, spine long, exhale. Draw it up and in. Let's go, 15. Make them count. Core and lats really fire up here. The whole body may shake. Inhale, exhale, draw it in. 10, nine, draw it in. Eight, the entire body's coming with you. Seven, six more. Last five, four, three, two, and last one. Great work, all right, one down, two to go. Let's get right to it. Grab that dumbbell. Dumbbell lap pullovers. We have 10 total. Normal tempo. Let's go. 10, 9. Inhale, exhale to pull. Seven more. Six. Reach it behind. Five, four, three, two. And last one, set that dumbbell down. Let's see if we can get up without using our hands. Maybe, maybe. It's something to work up to if we can't. Nice job if you did. All right, roll out, let's go. Big deep inhale, get your minds right. Exhale, draw it up and in. Here we go, no breaking from the hips. We got 15 total. Also keep those shoulders down and away from the ears. Do not let the shoulders hunch up towards the ears. That'll create a lot of unwanted tension along those traps. Ooh, exhale to draw it in. A whole body shaking right here. We have 10 more, let's go. You're doing great, stay with me. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six more. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. All right, we're taking it to the mat. Final round, dumbbell lap pullovers. Let's go, 10 total, you know what to do. 10, nine, eight, seven. We are almost done, let's finish strong. Last five. Pull it up, four, three, two, and last one. Great job, set that dumbbell down. Let's see if we can get up without using our hands. Woo. All right, final round, T-Rex rollouts. Let's make them good. I want that one count pause at the end. Walk it away from the anchor point if needed. Here we go, get into position. We're looking straight ahead, spine is long. Inhale throughout the rib cage. Exhale, core engages, deep belly butt up and in towards the spine. Let's go. One count, pause. One count, drive it in. Inhale, three, two, one. One count, pause. One count, draw it in. That's tough stuff, let's keep it up. Inhale long, exhale, bring it in. No breaking from those hips, come on, last 10. Nine, draw it in. Eight, draw it in. Seven, draw it in. Six, bring it in. Last five, you got this. Five, four, slow and controlled. Three, last two. Last one, three, two, one, one count, pause, and draw it in, nice work. Let's go ahead, hinge from the hips, get that nice stretch along the lats, let the chest melt, nice work today. We hit the upper body, every muscle group in the upper body too, which is what I like to do when I do my own workouts. I love splitting it up 
into lower and upper body day. All right, let's stretch it out. Ooh, nice work. Inhale, arms reach up and over. Let's go ahead and hinge at the right elbow. Grab hold that right tricep. Cross the right foot over the left. Get a nice little side body stretch as we hit that right tricep. So that was full upper, uh, no cardio, no lower. I will have a lower body available soon and then a core and a cardio uh, circuit as well. So if you are into designing your splits like that, I'm not into an upper body every single day. I like lower, upper, maybe total. After that, I really like to divide it up to fatigue the muscles, get stronger. But you don't have to train like that. You train how you want. Inhale, cross it over. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Everyone's got different goals, so just honor that. You did great today. Let's switch sides. I'm keeping the stretching pretty short. Right ear, right shoulder. But if you want more stretches after this, do whatever your body's craving, all right? Because you know what is best. I have some stretching videos too, but if you feel super tight in an area, go ahead and do it. All right, let's cross the fingers, interlace the fingers behind the small in the back. Big deep inhale as we exhale. Let's try to straighten those arms, drawing the chest forward. Stretching out the chest, upper back. I feel super buff right now because I'm having a hard time doing this. Oh, all right, shake it out. Inhale, arms reach up. As we exhale, cactus the arms, draw the elbows slightly behind the rib cage, open up the chest, look up. Again, inhale up. Exhale, cactus and open. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, cactus and open, y'all. Amazing job today. You did absolutely great. If you're wanting something else, check out some of my other videos. Again, I'm gonna have a lower body TRX circuit as well as a cardio and core one coming your way. I have uh, some total bodies as well, so check those out. Have a wonderful rest of the day, you rock.